You'll remember from your previous tutorial that we created um, a document here. Now you'll notice when we move the triangle it goes over the top of the square but it goes underneath the circle and this is because of the order in which it was uh, they were placed on the canvas or the stage in the first place. Similarly the square look goes behind the triangle and the circle and the circle would do similar. Now if we don't want that it's quite easy to insert some code to stop it from happening. You'll see in this example that the triangle goes over the top of everything so does the square and so does the circle. And this is because of a very simple piece of code called swap depth. We go to the actions um, panel in the actions frame 1 and have a look at the code. And you'll see that I've inserted a line of code called swap depth. Now this is shown on the written tutorial exactly what the line of code is, but it's telling that shape to find the next highest level. In other words, to find its next highest level and to make sure that it goes above the next highest level, which is why the triangle will go over the top of everything. And if we copy that, obviously, and paste it into the square and the circle as well, then that's what's happened with those. See some XY code in there as well, which I'll come to in a moment or two. There it is again, lower down there, the swap depth code in the place where it needs to be, just after the reply text. Now, you'll also notice now what happens is when we move this triangle, if you put it in the wrong place, it snaps back to where it started. If you put it in the right place, it'll stay where it is, and then you won't be able to move it at all. Same with the square. It snaps back, unless you put it in the right place. And the same with the circle. And again, this is a piece of code which we're going to show you where it was in a few seconds, which looks at the Z index. The X and the Y are the two-dimensional. The Z is the depth. And we tell it just here where to start. Again, these codes are, are on the page for you to copy. Shows you where the X and the Y start are. And then lower down, we'll tell it to return it to where the X and the Y start were to begin with, which snaps it in. And you do that all the way down. 